Well, so how did you um, get into singing, songwriting? Was that always a part of your life, or was it... It was always there. Okay. When I was... Um, my grandfather was a, a cantor, oh. which is the singing counterpart to the rabbi. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was a very big cantor in Baltimore. Okay. So growing up, my mom also was a, um, from a fairly musical family. She, had a, she has a great voice. Mm -hmm. So we would always learn rounds and uh, harmony parts, and we'd sing camp songs. But our camp songs were three, four part harmonies and wow. um, many, many parts sung mm -hmm. on top of each other. And it was always um, the most exciting thing to me. Mm -hmm. to be able to, let's all sing together and I'll sing this harmony part and I'd control everybody and lead the way and tell them how to do it. And I got my first guitar when I was nine. Mm -hmm. First I learned on my mom's old ukulele. Oh. And then the fingering is very similar. So I got okay. my first guitar and I wrote My Dog's My Buddy, which is a song on my first CD. Mm -hmm. What a way to play. <laughs> Plug. <laughs> That's okay. Plug away. <laughs> and uh, I always sang with my guitar. I'd make everybody sit and listen and I'd learn all the most popular songs and I don't know, I just constantly, constantly played songs, mm -hmm. wrote songs and in college I got a little into country music mm -hmm. and started a whole country band and I always wrote sort of silly, goofy songs. Mm -hmm. um, sort of trite yet silly <laughs> and then after I had my son I, I had all these songs I thought well maybe I'll do a children's album just for s giggles, I'll put it down. Right. And I didn't know that Baby Banana, the song I wrote for River, mm -hmm. was going to go to number one on the charts. That's amazing. And in XM Serious Radio Kid Stuff, uh -huh. it went to number one. And I was like, wow. And then all my songs started airing, and I'm like, I'm on the radio a That's lot. so cool. It was very amazing. <laughs> I mean, I always hoped that my country songs would hit the airways, and I'd try to pitch them and blah, blah. And then uh -huh. i just kind of go into kids' music for fun, which was easier for me, because it's an effort to sound grown up for me. <laughs> like, I had to go into training to, like, really be able to talk like a grown up and bring my voice down. Interesting. Because normally, this is where my voice wants to be. Well, that works for your career. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so the cartoon thing just kind of happened. <laughs> I talk that way anyway. And the music just sort of snowballed. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I'll make a second album. Yeah. And then I, I ended the country thing because the kid thing was going so well. <laughs> And then I thought, well, Baby Banana is still doing so well, yeah. I'll launch a kid's brand. Uh huh. And then I wrote this book, uh -huh. Baby Banana and the Licorice Tree, Very which is cool. based on the story. And actually, got to give credit to my husband. He made up this story when he was telling River his bedtime stories one night. Is that right? And they told me about it. They go, guess what? There's this baby banana, and you can fly, and the daddy's a gorilla, and the mom's a duck. And I thought, well, hmm. So I wrote this silly song about it, and now there's um, Mama Duck's a full-blown character, and Daddy Gorilla has all these funny quirks, and there's um, Oodle the orangutan, mm -hmm. and there's Leon the chameleon, mm -hmm. and so there's this, it's just kind of exploding. Yeah, absolutely. I was telling you earlier that my daughter absolutely loves Baby Banana. This, the book, the CD, every time we get in the car, it's Nana, Nana, Nana. Ah, I love so, to hear that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. She's addicted. Um, so do you guys, do you sing the songs to your son? Does he have a favorite song that he likes? When he goes to sleep, he really loves me to bring my guitar in mm -hmm. and sing to him until he's asleep. Don't okay. start not asleep yet. <laughs> So I try to sing all the slow ones, The Little Cowboy, Slumberland. Right. I have a number of other ones that are new that aren't even recorded yet. Mm -hmm. He likes them all. Aww, so that's when very we're, sweet. Uh, I always will uh, use him as my sounding board mm -hmm. when I have new material. Mm -hmm. And he'll give it to me straight. No, okay. I don't like that one. I like that one. Oh, really? Yeah, kids Mom, are good that way. I don't like it when you say blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, you can get a real straight, frank answer from them. Yeah. Right away. Even with the younger ones, you know, like maybe your two year old can't speak completely clearly. Mm -hmm. But when kids come to my concerts, uh -huh. if they were grown ups, they'd have to sit there. But kids don't. They'll be like, yeah. Well, they all <laughs> they sit get up there. and run around. They and... stay there for my whole show every time. Aww. And it's like the best compliment. That's nice. Do you hear that noise? Yeah. That's my old dog. I have to go move her again. <laughs> okay. 
So you get frank answers from your son, huh? <laughs> frank answers from you and from the audiences. Mm -hmm. I mean, if they don't like something, sometimes I will do a new song and I'll think, well, it should be done this way, and I'll see the kids that I just lost them. Oh, really? And so I'll talk to the team and I'll think about it and we'll adjust it so mm -hmm. that um, they'll be more intrigued or drawn in and give them something to do, hand motions or... But I don't... Okay, this is going to sound really conceited but I don't mean it to be, mm -hmm. they just like to sit and stare at me. <laughs> After the show, they come up to me, and they just stand there and go, Oh. Well, and we... some of them come up and just give me big hugs, like they're my best friend in the world, and I, I feel like that too, yeah. but it's so lovely. That's great. Yeah, we were at the West Side Children's Center for, for mm -hmm. the CD's mm -hmm. debut, and it was my daughter too, but I just saw how engaged they were, and you really invite them into your performance, which I think is really important and too. I, it's just so easy for mm. me. It's mm -hmm. so much fun. I know that so many things I've tried to do have been really hard work. Mm -hmm. and just like so difficult. And then kids' music is just so easy. It's coming so easily. great. That's also, right. you um, mentioned some new songs and trying them out on your son. Where are you taking Baby Banana to the next step soon? Or Actually, I am. I have, uh, I've had this wonderful team so far mm -hmm. that have helped me sort of package and prepare Baby Banana and get the new CD and my music videos, the website. I'm kind of all ready. And I'm, um, I'm ready kind of to, to bust out. Yeah. To explode. <laughs> so I'm going to see if there's um, kind of like a, a corporate sponsorship that might happen. Mm -hmm. Thinking uh, so many of the kids love the banana and they... Yeah. They bring bananas to my show. I don't know if yeah. you've been to a Wiggles show, but you know how kids mm -mm. show up with roses because that's what um, Dorothy the Dinosaur eats roses. Okay, so they bring okay. Them. Uh -huh. or, um, but they bring bananas to my show. They bring the things that are in my show to the show because okay. I have these diehard fans that just come all the time. Uh -huh. um, so I'm, maybe there's something with the banana or the nutritional. Mm -hmm. um, or toys? Are you Toys would be great, too. <laughs> Plush, plush banana. Oh, I have a prototype, a little plush prototype of baby banana, but uh -huh. that's, um, they're very expensive. Are they? So we're kind of working on how that's going to all fit in gotcha. and what sponsors or companies may mm -hmm. want to come aboard. Mm -hmm. So without having to hide too much, we'll just say that I'm kind of moving forward with baby okay. banana and there's a lot of interest. Oh, good. Um, it's, the music's still doing well, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to maybe incorporate some more environmental issues and educational issues mm -hmm. with Baby Banana, because when you have a kid's attention like that, it's a rare opportunity, and you can really convey some great information like recycling, mm -hmm. or uh, feeling like it's your job to help take care of the earth, or do what you can do, or... Mm -hmm. Just, I think, by Baby Banana, having a mom for a, a duck for a mom and a dad for a gorilla, mm -hmm. that's some good diversity in the family. Very non-traditional family. <laughs> it is, and there's a lot of that in mm -hmm. today's society. Absolutely. I mean, at River School, and I'm, it's, it's not all cut and dried. Mm-hmm.